what's going on guys it's that chick dope and i have a new video for you guys about a month ago i bought my scuff controller which is this one here and since scuff is so amazing i bought myself another one and if you have not watched this video my previous video of my scuff controller click the link on the screen or in the description wherever it is click it and watch that video first because in that video I talk about the features and I go more in depth about it and I pretty much talk about the benefits and I talk about it a lot but this time this time around I'm just gonna breeze right through it I'm just gonna assume that you guys know all the features if you don't then click the video and learn about it so yeah yeah <laughs> okay, okay 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 we're good so as you can see I already opened it compared to my last video I did a full unboxing review this time I already opened it and I'm not gonna go through all this stuff again and here's my fancy controller mm, you want to focus for me okay so let's start with the front I got chrome buttons along with the middle ones and I got an adjustable d-pad as you can see like this and I don't I honestly don't know the point of the adjustable d-pad but let's be honest I got it because it matches the front so that's why I got it for my thumbsticks I got my right one concave and I got my left one dome shaped and you can see the triggers are raised a little bit higher. My trim is black. And I still got my adjustable hair triggers. And then you see the scuff seal of approval has changed a little bit compared to my last one. Wait, wait for it, wait for it, there you go. But still the same meaning, the paddles I got it to match the original controller. As you can see, it says, says, come on. Okay, can't see it. It says Scuff Stealth on it because that's the name of the controller. My last one was called Elite, and this one's called Stealth. So the main reason why I got a new controller was because of the paddle configurations. Uh, when you go and order some, you configure it yourself, and I figured since I play more than one game, I might as well use these paddles to benefit me in different games. So, this one is meant for my Call of Duty gaming. My left paddle, yeah, left one, I got my sprint, which is my left thumbstick for me. I believe I play tactical, so when I hit my left, when I hit my left paddle, it sprints for me. And I don't remember. I think this one's X. I'll put it in the description if I'm wrong. But I believe it's X mainly for my C4s and stuff like that to blow up. And yeah, that's pretty much it for my configurations. Here's the back. And yeah, that's pretty much it with this controller. And I got a different colored case this time around just so I can tell the difference between my two controllers. This time I got red. It's pretty much no big of a difference. It still has the same you know, detail along with it. Just a different color. So that's my new one. And this is my old one. If you guys haven't, like I said, if you guys haven't seen my previous video, watch it and then come back and watch this one so you know what I'm talking about but yeah I'm pretty happy with my second controller we're starting a little collection here at the house so if you have not gotten yourself a scuff controller and you are a gamer I would recommend you get one because these are just amazing and just to let everybody know I bought these controllers with my own money scuff gaming did not pay me to do this review uh, both of my reviews actually I bought with my money so 
I just made this video just because. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment on whatever's on your mind, favorite stuff like that, and don't forget to sub yeah, subscribe. Okay, thanks. Bye. On this battlefield, you claim your game is Jordan, but you run on sparks on the battlefield. Like my shoes, so stay back. Go pass in, run eight laps on eight tracks, but why eight? Cause I ain't infinite. Go ahead.